All this week on Dateline Schools, we've been talking about testing. I know it's a favorite subject of kids, not really, but it's something that they have to do, and they do it multiple times throughout the school year. And to tell us more about it, my special guest is the Director of Education Services here at St. Clair County Risa, Brenda Tenniswood. And Brenda, you did bring up, mention a couple of times, NWEA testing that local districts do. How much is that different than what the MSTEP is, and how important is that in the assessment of our kids uh, throughout the school year? So obviously, as our, our students learn, we want to make sure we're evaluating them to determine where we need to, you know, where we need to change instruction, where students might need more instruction. And so the purpose of whether it's a STAR test or NWA is to get that at more regular in, in intervals throughout the year to see, gosh, where are our kids doing really well and where can we celebrate? And where might there be gaps either in an in individual student's learning or in our curriculum that we might need to address? Adjust. So that's really the purpose of the ND, NWA or STAR. MSTEP is like the end of the year. It's more a summative assessment that really looks more broadly at curriculum and instruction and student performance. So and obviously it's an important time for our kids and, and for our local districts. What do you have, advice do you have for the kids and, and for the parents as they try to encourage your kids and get them prepared for all this testing? Yes, I would agree to, with everything that you just said. And I think COVID has only late, you know, added another layer of, of challenge on top of that. So from the parent perspective, just support your child. Uh, if your child is one that suffers from anxiety, I know we've got kids in the county that even the mention of test can really produce anxiety. So just assure them, reassure them to try to do their best on these tests. It's going to be okay. Um, and obviously things like making sure your student, your child gets enough sleep the night before, eats breakfast. Um, is not thinking about food during the test because they had breakfast that morning, just some of those simple things. Bottom line, we want our kids to feel good going into the test. We want them to display the knowledge that they have, celebrate how far they've come in learning this year, um, and really to take this as an opportunity to display that learning rather than something that's, that's scary for them. Great information all week, Brenda. We appreciate it. For Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington. Dateline Schools is a production of Safely. Yeah.